King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, Apa, King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on Team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Speaking of Team IKC, if you haven't downloaded my new app, please go on your cell phone right now, search the app store for Team IKC and pick it up. But in other news, I'm bringing you guys my first official My Team gameplay online. I know everybody is stoked. I know like, oh my god, IKC finally made it to the party. But uh, I'm here, y'all. I'm here. And I'm just here to let you guys know that I will be playing My Team faithfully now. Now, to start things off, we win the tip. Now, I got Parrish. If you guys don't know who he is, I got him in a pack. And the video is inside the description. So you guys can click the link. Go check that joint out. But to start it off, I wanted to go inside the paint. I wanted to show him that I'm not just here to shoot threes all game long. So to become a dominant player in this game, I had to start forcing my way in the paint. Because when you mix things up by driving in the paint, it's just going to kill their confidence. Now, right here on this play, Kobe Bryant destroyed Michael Carter-Williams' confidence. And the funny thing is, the very next play, he subbed Michael Carter-Williams out. It was so funny, you know, but it's all good. Now, he drives into the paint, misses the layup with Martin. I come down on a small little fast break, and I notice they leave Jared Jack open. So, I have to support his last name by jacking that three, and it goes in. Now, I pull away. And the funny thing is, it kind of pissed him off because he started playing so slow he started pausing the game he started trying to throw me off my rhythm but guess what i got something to turn the game all the way up yeah that's right y'all hear the music y'all hear the build up y'all know what time it is deandre jordan off the backboard baby let's go talk about turn up he needed a timeout michael carter williams is fed up go sit your little light skin behind down now, of course, I did make this guy mad, so he started pulling more and more threes. But every time you shoot a three, the fast break is there, so check out the 360 alley-oop. Oh my god, it was just so beautiful, I had to let it go. But man, Gerald Green and James Worthy, who would have thought to see these two on a fast break? Now, of course, Steve Novak, the sniper without a perk, hits a three-point shot in the corner, and I need to take a timeout. I will not let these guys come back. I will not let them come anywhere near my lead into the third quarter. So, you know, I step it up on defense. He misses the shot. We only got 14 seconds to work with. So, me being the smart person that I am, I back out. I don't want to give this guy any time because I know for sure he'll come down and hit a three-point shot with time left on the clock. So, I pull out for a nice little pump fake with Ainge, and I hit the mid-range jump shot, only giving this guy 0.3 seconds. I know he hated me. I know he wanted the rage, but he said, nah. I got this. I'm going to come back in the second half. Now, me being the person that I am, I'm like, yo, I scored 42 points and a half. I got this game. But no, 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 no. He has Michael Carter Williams on his team. Now, I know a lot of people probably thinking, Michael Carter Williams, really? I'm, and I was the same way. He came down shooting threes, getting out on fast breaks, hitting jump shots, dunking on people, laying it up, euro stepping. It was ugly. Like right here on a fast break, he runs straight past me. He, I swear to God, it was a lightning ball. All seriousness, when I looked at the screen, he was in one spot. I anticipated him to do one thing, and he flew right by me. Now, check this out. Michael Carter Williams again, trying to get to the Gary Neal, but nah, he shouldn't have took that shot. He should have went with Michael Carter Williams because I'm on a fast break, and it's about to get ugly. So, Gort Tot goes in for the nice slam. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes you just got to go with what you know. But he comes right back down on the other end and gets the layup. You know, fast break for fast break. Now, the funny thing is, in my team, I wish I could set everything. Because sometimes I feel like my guys are a little too sluggish getting back on defense. Also, the help defense, oh my goodness. If I, if I could turn help defense off, I would. I'd rather a one-on-one -on -one matchup all the time. Because, man, when that double team come and that sniper sitting in the corner... It gets so ugly, man. And I'm going to show you how ugly it gets. Now, I'm not talking about a fat, ugly woman at McDonald's grabbing a supersize and they don't even sell supersize no more. I'm talking about how ugly the game can get when a person starts hitting their three-point shots. Now, believe me, I'm not the guy to sit up here and say, you know what? 
I'm going to shoot threes. I'm going to get back in the game with you. I'm going to go shot for shot because, uh, oh, no. IKC do not know everybody's shot. I don't. I haven't perfected anyone's shot at all. I don't think I've gotten an excellent release yet. But guess what? This guy has. And you want to know why he has got an excellent shot? Because he has snipers on his team. They may not be the most athletic, but God damn it, every time I cut to a clip, they hitting a three-point shot. Look at the sniper without a perk, Steve Novak. I swear to God, I hate you. Man, if I could just delete him from the game's data, I would. Because, oh my goodness, they tied the game up. It's 20 seconds left on the clock. At this point in time, I was sweating. My palms were sweating. My my brow was sweating. Everything. Like, my whole body was sweating. Like, I needed a shower. But guess what? I got Diamond Kobe on my team. Who needs a 95-96 Bulls Jordan when you got Diamond Kobe on your team? Oh, my God. Now, the funny thing is, anybody see how he controlled the power forward and tried to come over and block my shot? I was killing him with the back down, fade, shimmies. I was killing him so much all game that he could have swore that's what I was going to do. But no, no, no. I hit him with that nice up and under, and of course, this game is over. He could not hit the shot. I came out with the win. But look, check this out, though. The funny thing is, this guy that I played, Brian, I actually played him to advance to the eighth seed as well. But the second game really wasn't that outlandish, I guess you can say. You know, he played more conservative because he knew my style, and he tried to go bucket for bucket with me in the paint, but it just didn't win out. This game was actually a great game because I only won by two. The second game, I think I won by like 10 to 14 because he wasn't shooting threes that much and he wasn't using Gary Neal with the power forward and stuff like that. He played more realistic, more simulation instead of, you know, trying to come out and shoot. But I'm in the AFC. Your boy has advanced. And I'm feeling real good, man. I like my team. I will have to say this. It's like, you know, it's a person's dream come true when you can actually play with players that you're you know big fanatic for man and um just to let you guys know that the links are in the description for my playlist i'm gonna be uploading my team videos all the time now i still don't have a set schedule yet because i got kids man i got a family i got work i got so much going on and oh also for all my my career lovers out there my next my career video is either gonna be a spectacular video like a a groundbreaking video or a playoff video. That's how I'm gonna just put it like that. But this is IKC signing out. Peace. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.